Now we're going to uh, do the analysis for recursive algorithm. We have already done for the non-recursive algorithm. Uh, basically, in general, we have two rules. Number one, we have to observe some patterns after we trace it. And secondly, we need to map that the patterns to certain summation formula or maybe to the log function. This is only the, the way that uh, we want to do the analysis. Okay. Um, now for the first example of recursive algorithm it is called a factorial you know already the factorial previously we discussed this and uh, factorial means here these are based on the recursive you see we have the method here called fact here this method called itself is small copy of itself here here and we give the end after that end will reduce by minus one minus one one called itself this is actually the process of uh, repetition here okay so we can see here uh, let's say i give the example as we did previously and equal to four mean four factorial become like this four times three times two times one so equal to 24. okay so the process like this uh, you want to see that actually the small copy of this uh, functions so the function called so this function n time fact n minus one so let's say n equal to four so we have four time facts uh, four minus one become three right okay after that this n become three and this uh, three minus one two and this a small version so two this become one and after that so 1 this become 0 so 0 is a stopping criteria when n equals 0 return 1 1 times 1 1 here 2 times 1 2 3 times 2 6 here 6 times 4 is 24 and this is actually the process of repetition ok you can see here this uh, may be 1 2 3 4 maybe four times uh, this actually uh, the idea how actually win the analysis and prove that this for example here uh, factorial is o n okay after this we are going to uh, prove that how this factorial uh, will obtain the o n next uh, going to do the analysis based on the back method before that on top f we have to observe uh, patterns some patterns and map to certain summation formula or could be uh, log functions as a prerequisite for that we have to establish for the recursive algorithm here we have to establish or set up the recurrence relation the recurrence relation recurrent form like this for uh, the factorial uh, algorithm just now factorial algorithm now t of n equal to t of n minus 1 you just take the, this actually the recursive part because this m minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 until stopping criteria where factorial 0 equal to 1 return 1 and plus 1 which is actually how many the operation done when this uh, decreasing until the uh, stopping criteria for n greater than 1 of course because it's n less than 1 especially if uh, factorial 0 automatically we have already uh, the answer is 1 and no need to cal uh, calculate the uh, the time but if stop here this uh, the stopping t0 minimum to stop when n equal to 0 and this actually equal to 0 ok so we come like this so now we need to n minus 1 and after that follow n minus 2 so we have the now we need to uh, have a recursive lead I mean recursive, I mean recurrent relation n minus 1 and that n minus 2 and maybe n minus 3 n minus 4 and so on so forth until here because this recursive stop at n minus 1 equal to 0 this stopping here so now we need to do the recurrent relation here so based on this, based on the back substitution methods so we have to substitute to the n here n equal to n minus 1 here so this become n minus 1 
minus 1 here plus 1 ok plus 1 this orangnya 1 plus 1 so this actually become n minus 2 and we have the n minus 2 so we need to do that the relation here for the n minus 2 we substitute here n minus 2 minus 1 so this become n minus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 ok and next is n minus 3 here this become n 3 minus uh, minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 this plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and for the 4 here this become n minus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 until whatever here until here but now you want to stop here because the stopping is t0 n equal to 0 so n minus what n minus what 0 let's say here increase until the k so meaning that m minus k equal to 0 so if m minus k equal to 0 meaning that k equal to n because m minus k equal to 0 k equal to n so n here the pattern you can see that pattern here was a very uh, one uh, the pattern here the, the increase here actually uh, from here the increase actually uh, to stop here so the increase uh, if if the k here k equal 2 3 3 k equal 4 4 k equal 5 5 so until the k so the pattern here actually similar to k equal to n m time here so we can conclude that this is end up with o n here o n 